This is Evie. It's Face Mode Friday. Sunshine here today with a request from a subscriber or from just someone who watches my channel. I'm not sure. Um, I will put the name in like right here who requested for me to do the skipper uh, face mold for Face Mode Fridays. Um these are all the skippers in my um in my collection minus one um i think i call her susanna my dog that i named susanna she was one of my first skipper molds that i got as an adult collector and it's like the new skipper face mold or whatever the newest version of skipper's face mold my room is a mess you guys <laughs> I have not been doing good with keeping my dog place organized ever since the catastrophe um, video, the video that had the catastrophe in it, um, <laughs> where I sang my little cat song. I have not cleaned up this room whatsoever, and it became worse after the catastrophe. So I've just kind of had it with my doll room. I need a lot more storage space. It's kind of getting ridiculous, but anyway. Um, you guys already know how that is being a dog collector, especially if you're in a limited um, space. So, as you can see, I have some lovely skipper molds in front of us here. Skipper dolls uh, or dolls with the skipper face mold here. I have seven of them. I would have had eight if I had if I knew where Susanna was, but I don't know where Susanna is. She's in storage. That's about as, as great as I can tell you of what she's where she's what she's doing and where she's been. <laughs> it's been raining nonstop in western Missouri here pretty much uh for over a week now. It's probably been two weeks. It's just been raining, raining, raining. I mean it stopped, you know, it gave us a break and all of that, but it's just too much rain and but you know, I'm just you know letting God do what he do and we'll just deal with the rain and be grateful for it because when it goes away it'll probably be gone for a minute too so i'm trying to enjoy the gloominess you would think i would do the the challenge about the doll out in the rain <laughs> i um i'm i haven't done that yet let me just put it that way okay you guys enough talking for me right because it's almost five minutes in and all i've been doing is yapping so since I don't have Susanna around, and I'll probably insert a picture of Susanna, probably like right here at this point, um, either, well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put in a picture that I have of Susanna when I first started my channel. I think she's fashionista, whatever. <laughs> Platinum Pop or something, I think her name is. Her like her little catchy name that they used to put with the fashionistas. And I definitely don't know what number she is. She's probably up in the hundreds though, maybe. Um, but yeah, her name is Platinum Pop. And she's a skipper face mold. And she was like a curvy. She was on a curvy body. And her hair was like really platinum. So that's why she was called Platinum Pop. So you guys may already know what doll I'm referring to. Um, but that was my first skipper face mold. Um, this skipper face mold. Since I have been a, an, an adult collector i can't talk today i don't know what is going on here um so let me introduce you to the girls okay all my little skipper girls here this cutie right here you guys recognize she's fashionista i think 166 i think is her number um, i put her on the bmr doll petite body so somebody else is walking around with her standard barbie body <laughs> her name is mariama this lovely lady right here, right here, her name is Eminette. This little lovely lady right here, her name is Marilena. I named her after my grandmother. Yeah, I named her after my grandmother. 
it just occurred to me to name her that. My grandmother was very sweet and very comical, and that's that's Marilena right here. Right here, this um, colorful haired young lady right here, I named her Ember because she reminds me of a girl that I used to play soccer with who wore her hair kind of like this long, long time ago. Styles always come back in. I'm going to tell y'all, styles always come back. And then this lovely lady right here is Jerrica. This one right here is a Barbie from a set that is the Barbie You Can Be Anything. It was like two dolls in the set, and I think they were cooking pasta or something. Well, one was cooking pasta, and the other one was the waitress. She was the waitress doll. And then this doll right here is also a fashionista. Her name is Jolene. And Jolene is very much named appropriately just because I'll get into that later when I'm talking about the dolls. So the next doll in line to Susanna, my platinum pop um, doll. So this is Jerrica. Jerrica is a fashionista. I don't know. She's like from 2016 or 2017. Um, her like little theme name was Coral something, something about Coral. Okay, so we were talking about Jerrica. Her name is Coral something. And her and Marilena really look cute in like pinks and purples and like the pastel -y colors. <laughs> um, the rest of them do too, but these two work them the best. So some of like the more, the more kitty kind of clothing I usually put on them. <laughs> Uh, this girl looks really good in it too, and so does Mariama. And apparently Ember does with her Care Bear. But anyway, this is Jerrica. I named her after Jerrica Benton from Jim and the Holograms, who also turned turned into Jim. Um, <laughs> if you know who Jim and the Holograms is, put a heart in the comment section. <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know Jim and the Holograms, I just feel sorry. I feel sorry for you. But anyway, this is Jerrica, and she's absolutely gorgeous. She's a skipper face mold, and she's just lovely, isn't she? Look at the eyebrows. I love what they did to her eyebrows. They gave her the perfectly shaped um, eyes. The skipper face mold always has this, like, cute little pointy nose. And then they give her this closed mouth look. And it's really cute. She kind of has a, a chin similar to Evie's chin from the Kim Chandra face mold. Here is a side view of the Skipper face mold. And then here is another view. And it's begun to storm again. <laughs> but a hundred time here in Western Missouri. So she is super cute. I love the skin tone that they have her on. I think this, I think Jerrica has the orange top made to move doll body. Because I'm pretty sure like I gave her a made to move body quite some time ago. It's either that or the soccer player's body. And look, I put a fanny pack on her. Oh my gosh. I very begrudgingly put that fanny pack on her. But I just felt like she needed some more, you know, of a darker pink color on. <laughs> So I gave her this bum bag. I hate bum bags. I have a personal vendetta against them. Anyway, this particular skipper, this, <laughs> sorry, one of my cats are digging into things because um, the room is a mess. This particular skipper has very beautiful curly hair. It has become slight gluey, but it's very slight. I'll just have to do like a little um shampoo and i think the the glue will be gone but she has really pretty hair i love curls i love curls and wavy hair and if a doll has that i'm probably gonna get her unless i just really think her quality stinks like if she was like dreamtopia or one of the budget dolls i might not would get her just because the mattel's quality has been de declining in my opinion so let's get another doll you know as usual i compare like one of the main dolls i have in my collection that has this particular face mold to another doll 
that has a particular face mold. And we all know who I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with Fashionista 166. <laughs> and I have her specially dressed up just for this occasion today. I put her in the little Meow Mix Fashionista's um, little dress and paired it with these cute little white heels. So, this is Mariyama. And she's just a tiny powerhouse. Let's see her up close with Jerrica here. So here's Mariyama and Jerrica together. I'm going to tilt them so you guys can kind of see the similarities in their nostrils, the shape of their nose. Now, this doll looks like her nose is in the shape of an arrowhead. Probably all of them have that kind of shape, but this one looks like it more so than other doll, other dolls with different face molds. And then you can see both their chin kind of looking similar to the Kim Chandra dolls. And then they have these cute little lips. They kind of look like they're pursed lips. And then you see kind of like the corner of their mouth, which is called a commissure. commissure. I've been kind of looking at like anatomy of like faces and stuff like that and break down of faces to like hopefully do better on these videos with you guys. So the corner of the mouth is called a commissure. And her lips are kind of pursed here. And it's just really pretty. It almost gives the illusion that she has dimples or she may actually have dimples, Skipper does, on the side of her face here. You can kind of see them. Let's see them on Mariama. She's a little darker, so it's kind of harder to see hers, but she has them too. And then where their eyes are, like if there's ever shadows, they have like very, like the inset of their eye. We're going to go into this in more detail in a little bit. But it's it's deeper than a lot of dolls, I feel like. Or the kind of shape, how it kind of insets there. It makes a little mark on their faces. I'll show it to you in people's like Instagram pictures. This picture right here is from Instagram from someone by the name of Barbie Dolls Madrid. Um, in this picture, I just wanted you to note on the left side, her right eye, there is a shadow right above the inner corner of the eye. Most skippers have this. Um, I'm not sure why, and sometimes it'll only show up over that right eye. But in this picture with my doll, Susanna, this is actually from my Instagram. Um, you can see that the dark shadow is over both eyes in the inner corner. Let's take a side view of the face here. See that little corner of the mouth? It's it's very different. I like it. It's cute to me. It gives them a more innocent and sweet looking face. And they have, you know, decent sized ears. Let me see if I can pull their ears up for you guys. They have decent ears. It's very cute. I think her head is just slightly smaller, maybe. I don't really know. It may be the same size, but it seems smaller to me. Of course, the material used for the paint is slightly different, but ultimately, these guys have a very cute face. They have a very medium-sized forehead and kind of have a a squarish size, uh, a squarish shaped face. The next that I'm going to get is Ember right here. Ember is like a skater girl. She's very athletic, likes to draw, and is very good at drawing. Become a very proficient sketch artist. But she wants to be one of those people at the, um, she wants to be one of those people at the police department that does sketches for bad people or just anybody that needs to be found, really. Um, she does have a little bit of um, tape around her neck because uh, when I was 
moving somebody off of this doll body to give her the head, it cracked. And I'm one of them people, I'm not about to throw away a made to move body unless it's just really beyond repair. So I put the neck peg back in it. I taped it up and then I put her head back on. <laughs> now they did say with this skipper, I read somewhere that she's slightly modified. So I don't know if they gave her like a fatter face when they say that this one was modified slightly. And I guess it was because maybe she had molded um, the molded deals on the side of her head. Not really sure. I looked it up and it says she was modified skipper. Which if you look at her a little bit, you can kind of see it sort of. It still has the same elements of a skipper face mold, the little dimples, the pursed lips, the little round chin, and the cute little nose. Cute pointy little nose. They have a nice like little dip, like the Barbie Big City Big Dreams uh, Brooklyn doll has. They have like that real like nice little curvature at the at the bridge of the nose. They have nice cheekbones. A nice, you know, jawline. Still kind of squarish, but it's still really cute. See how their eyes are kind of drawn differently? Really, really, really cute. And I'll be back. Hi, everybody. I'm back. I had to turn the um, <laughs> had to turn the camera off for a second, so I don't know where where I've been. But um, I was showing Ember here and Jerica compared to each other. So that is those two, and I hope you like uh, Ember's outfit here. She looks really cute. But yeah, I wasn't about to lose no make to move body. It just wasn't about to happen that way. I haven't lost, well, I have lost one and I'm very much uh, grieving over it. <laughs> okay, the next person that I want to talk about here is Marilena, who I named after my grandma because she's so cute and adorable like my grandmother was. I lost my grandmother in 2010 and it has been quite a road without my, my, my buddy. My grandma was like one of my buddies. So here is Marilena and she's super cute and she's actually Jerrica's younger sister. <laughs> um, I actually won her from um, a person that's on YouTube and Instagram called A Meaningful Life. Actually, one is fashionist. I think she's 103. I'm not really sure. Fashionist 103, I think. Um, and I won her um, from a giveaway. And I put her on a made to move body. So thank you, uh, Miss A Meaningful Life for that. That was probably a couple of years ago now. <laughs> but I do love this doll. She's super cute. Um, I love her, you know afro textured hair it's very natural i love that it's like a it's not sandy blonde but it's not like really deep brunette either but she is a brunette and i love the color hair on you know her hair color i haven't really removed her hair from its original hairstyle i kind of like it like this i think it suits her but um my grandmother looks sweet and adorable but like she had a bite like no other when she was ready to, when she was ready to get you. Uh, so Marilena's like that too. She looks like she just wants to have fun all day. Oh, excuse me. And she does want to have fun all day, but like you cross her or you do something that's, um, you know, not very nice. And she's going to tell you about yourself. So these guys are sisters. So of course, you know, they're going to have a very similar face. They have the medium sized forehead. The only thing different is the eyebrows and kind of like the shape of the eyes. They gave her more illusion of like eyelids than they did with Jerrica. Jerrica still has eyelids. It's just that um, it's less noticeable. The crease that they gave Marilena is a lot deeper than the crease that they gave Jerrica. 
so if you turn to the side here they don't they're they don't really have like little fat cheeks or anything but they do remind me the skipper face mold reminds me of a cherub that's just <laughs> that's just what it reminds me of there goes those noses again those cute little pursed lips and their little um mouth their corner the corner of their mouths there the commissioners that they're showing off here it's it's quite it's quite um quite noticeable in the skipper face mold i think more than any other face mold i could be wrong because i don't have all the face molds i don't think but i think it's more prevalent in the skipper face mold just different textures and everything she's a little bit she's a shade darker than um jerica but it's very beautiful a very beautiful face mold they have they have more um with some of the dolls that have bigger noses you know they have more nose real estate and with these dolls on their face they have more you know cheek real estate so I like that too. The forehead and the cheek have a lot more real estate. Um, I just like their little cute little lips. These lips look good whether you have them painted or not. I've seen some people who do not have uh, Mariana Mariana's lips painted, and she looks she looks great without it. So that's Marilena. This doll is very special to me. Um just because I named her after my grandma pretty much. And the dog kind of reminds me of my grandma, uh, especially when my grandma was younger. So, yep. My grandma has a skipper face mold <laughs> face when she was younger. Uh, let's see, who is the next person I'm going to talk about? Let's talk about old problematic Jolene right here. Now, I told you I named this dog Jolene, having no idea about Dolly Parton, um, Dolly Parton's song, Jolene. <laughs> but the funny thing is that Dolly Parton's song, Jolene, and this Jolene are pretty much the same. Um, they want to steal your man. And I had no idea when I made her personality that she, her name is Jolene and she really wants to steal your man. <laughs> She really wanted Jolene wanna steal everybody's man. Jolene is no, she's very beautiful and she's very uh self-absorbed. She really has a high IQ, but she loves herself way too much. Um, and she has way too much hubris, and it just gets in the way. It gets in the way of everything that that she wants to do all the time. Her her conceit, her conceitedness runs her pretty much. Um, she loves making other people's men drool after her. Um, you know, she likes to wear like little revealing clothes with her shoulders out and everything else out her back out. She likes to wear short skirts, you know, up the wazoo and really tall heels. Okay, this is Jolene. She's crazy with it, child. She's crazy with it. She wants to, all these girls, they got boyfriends. She wants all their boyfriends be paying attention to her. And if Jolene could talk, and she would talk about all the skipper face molds, she would tell y'all that she's the most glamorous of all the skipper face molds that's similar to this one. Because, you know, skipper's supposed to be Barbie's younger sister and all that. So, um, she has different versions of a skipper face. But this is the one that I like pretty much the most. The teen skipper. Now, that face, the teen skipper, like, from back in, like, the... 90s and early 2000s those are the faces i like the most for the skipper face mold but th this face mold um is right on the heels and she got a little mark on her forehead i don't know what i've been doing with jolene here somebody must have knocked her out for trying to steal their man <laughs> maybe that's where that mark came from but um so this is more of a you know kind of a asian type looking um face mold rendition of of the skipper face mold um i love her like porcelain looking skin i love um her brown eyebrows um i just love the coloration that they use with her and she has brown eyes and she's just confident and 
smart, but she's also very catty. <laughs> but, um, you know, just look, look at her face. Look at that face. And most of these skipper face molds, their, their eyes are like the same width apart. You know, and I guess that's because of like probably like the little indention before they paint the eye on. So that's probably why it really doesn't venture out of the of the same shapes for the for the eyes. But I do love what they do with the eyebrows on um on this face mold. The main thing you have to think about when you think about the skipper, this mold is the, the nose. Uh this nose you see more nostril. Then other noses, just looking straight forward, you still see nostril. And then um, it's the pursed lips, and then their little uh, mouth corners are very deep. And then that round chin and the square face shape and the real estate of the cheeks in the forehead on this face takes over. The lips don't, the nose don't. Um, the forehead, the eyes, and the cheek space, and then the cute little lips and stuff. So, really, really cute face mold. I'm going to show you guys some pictures coming up here real soon. Um, after I show the last couple of dolls here. Um, let's go with Aminette. <laughs> Aminette used to be the baddest chick in the land as far as getting in trouble and going to jail. <laughs> going to juvenile. Um, now she done got herself together. She's a little bit more cool, calm, and collected. She done, she done had a few little um, lectures and stuff about how she's supposed to behave in life. The Eminette was the bad girl. She was laying people out. Um, I think she'd even lay Jolene out if she had to. Um, but you know, she stays in her lane. This is her outfit. This is how she likes to dress, you know, very edgy, but at the same time is, you know, it's very light, you know, metalhead kind of girl, you know, it's more conservative metalhead dressing, edgy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and she has a shaved head. I love that about Eminette. Um, Eminette is very business minded. She's very business savvy. Um, she's a promoter for like metal bands and things like that. Uh, she does the promoting for the clubs and things like that. So she gets herself into the mix really good, but she also be punking people. She be telling people like it is. She don't play around. Um, she's a great negotiator, that sort of thing. The girl just got a silver tongue. It's almost as Platinum as this uh, hair she's rocking. <laughs> and, but it's kind of grayish, but it's still kind of like this platinum grayish color. I don't know. But see how they did like the eyebrows on her? Let me bring Jerrica up. I really like the eyebrows they put on Eminette. And I like the way they did it with like her eye color scheme and the lip color that they used. She's just so pretty. I like Eminette. She is on the BMR doll body that is the Kira face mold. The Kira face mold BMR doll. That's what um that's what body that she has. This is another beautiful skipper face mold. Just showing you the difference with the skin tone. She's a bit yellower than Ember and Jolene. Um, but she's gorgeous as well. They have more of the pixelated stuff on her face. She's a lot shinier in the eyes than Jerrica. Well, she is absolutely gorgeous. She's stunning, y'all. I love me some Eminette. I might have to do a photo shoot with them after I'm done. <laughs> um, the last girl I'm going to compare to, at least uh, from my collection, before we go into a face analysis, is i don't even know what i named her i'm sure she got a name but i just forgot what it is um but she was from a barbie you can be anything set that um 
it was like they're it was like an Italian chef or a chef cooking pasta. And then this doll was the waitress. The other doll, I think, had a carnival or summer face mold. Uh, the other doll that was with her, she had a top hat and all that. But um, I wanted this set just for this doll. And I got her for like under $10, the set. I think I got it for $9 or $7, somewhere like that at Walmart. And um, in their clearance section. And I like this doll because she reminds me of the L.A. Girl doll. Because <laughs> I didn't get the L.A. Girl. That's probably one of the most famous Skipper dolls of this particular face mold version of Skipper. Is the L.A. Girl. I'm going to insert a picture of her at some point in this video. But um, I was going to um, change her lips to red and give her a little mole and try to uh, flock her hair on one side and give her some more... Um, fantasy hair colors mixed in with this beautiful blonde color but when I saw her I was like she's cute by herself and I want her to be like somebody's little sister a cute little sister she's a very gorgeous um doll and I don't know what kind of like sorry um there was a thing about my battery getting low <laughs> um I don't know what kind of like face paint they used on this but I like it a lot more than that other face paint they've been using it looks really good and natural on her face this doll is stunning too I love this skipper I love her hair color I usually don't like dolls with blonde hair but this doll she she takes the cake honey she takes the cake she is just gorgeous so here she is with the gorgeous jerica she has bigger eyes longer and more statuesque eyebrows because that's even such a thing um i like the pink that they use um she's so fair that it's kind of hard to see like the little dimples in her face and her mouth corners and stuff <laughs> but she's still like a really cute doll they they gave her blush very well on her face. Let's just look at her by herself because she's just gorgeous. She don't need nobody in here helping her. This side of her face. And Skipper has a very compact profile to me. I could be wrong, but her her profile is very compact. The way her face sits is very compact. Um, there is a nice amount of space in between her lips and her nose, though. Let me see if it's that way on this doll. Yeah, to me, it seems like there's a nice amount of space in between the nose and the mouth. Now, for this doll, well, yeah, even for her, it looks to be like that. It just doesn't look as much. I think they try to give her bigger lips. I could be wrong. You guys let me know in the comments down below. But, um, yeah, this doll right here, I don't know what I named her, but she's gorgeous and I love her. I put her on an articulated body because she had a stiffer body. I don't know whose body this is that she stole. <laughs> Probably the uh, Barbie look, um, the Barbie look doll with the Carl mold that, that had a little teacup and scone with her. <laughs> That's probably whose body this is. Um, it's one of the Barbie look dolls. I don't remember which one. But she is super cute. She has the cutest little nose. The cutest little cupy face. Little cherub face. Skipper. They're just angelic looking. I don't know really what else to say about them. But we about to go into face analysis. So wave goodbye, girl. Wave goodbye. We're going into face analysis now. And then we'll be back with the conclusion. All right. In this photo on this skipper face, I call this the lantern shape, which she has on her face, which starts at a point at her nose, follows the nasal labial lines down to the corner of her mouth, goes back into the chin, and then veers out because of the um, width of her chin. And this happens on both sides of the faces. I used an orange red marking to highlight that area, uh, which I call the lantern shape for her face. All right, in this video of Skipper, um, what I want to highlight here is that Skipper face mold looks 
much like a cherub uh, face to me. The eyes of Skipper looks like a cherub, the nose, the mouth, the cupid's bow, the corners of her mouth, the chin, the roundness of the face. Everything says cherub, like in this picture that you're seeing now. Um, the eyebrows, the eyes look like skippers. The nose of the cherub looks like skippers. The cupid's bow, the lips look like skippers. The corner of the mouth definitely looks like skipper. The chin looks like skipper. So she's a cherub. All right, you guys, I got this photo from someone on Flickr or on Pinterest called Ultimately Optic. Uh, so these are skippers throughout the years. And the first skipper debuted in 1964. Um, the face mold was supposed to look adorable and innocent. And skipper is supposed to be about 10 years old at this time. The 1978 and 1985 skipper face molds were pretty much the same. They weren't very popular with people at that time. Um... And it had a short run. In 1988, um, the skipper that a lot of us recognize uh, was very cute, had a larger than normal head, uh, big anime eyes, and a closed mouth smile. Then in 1995, um, skipper got a more realistic face mold with open mouth smile. This mold did not last very long, but it's one of the most recognized face molds uh, for probably 80s babies. And my favorite from the line is the Pizza Hut Party AA Skipper. In 1997, Skipper got a dramatic makeover with a completely new face. Um, she's about 16 years old, supposed to be, with this face mold. Uh, it's a more mature face, lots more makeup. Um, and it's a longer and more oval face. In 2009, she still has a 1997 face mold, but the makeup is subdued. Um, and um, she's dropped down by age to about 14 years old. And in 2011, this is the face mold that we all know and enjoy today on our Barbie fashionistas and other dolls. Um, and this doll debuted with brown hair. This one's known as the Sister Skate Skipper. All right, you guys, this is the ending of this Face Mold Friday uh, video. I just want to say thank you guys for dipping in the Dolmosphere with me today. I enjoyed discussing the uh, cherub-like face mold of Skipper. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I know this is a little bit different ending than before, but just um, stay safe. Be positive and don't forget to keep the sunshine in your life. All right, you guys. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate you all. And you just have a wonderful weekend. All right. Bye-bye.